In this video, I'll show you how to use the Docker restart policy and how to configure your containers to be restarted in case that your Docker host gets rebooted. So I already have a droplet here with Docker already running. Uh, let me quickly SSH to my droplet. It's just an Ubuntu 18.04 server. If I check the Docker status with the systemctl docker command, you will see the Docker is running. Now, I don't have any containers running, so let's go ahead and start a couple of containers. I would start an HTTPD container in the background without specifying any restart policies. The image is currently being put. Okay, that's ready. The next thing that I would like to do is to spin another container, but in this case, I would specify a restart policy so that in case my Docker host gets rebooted or if the container crashes, I would like the container to be restarted. So I would use the unless stop argument. Currently, you can see that I have my two containers up and running. So let's go ahead and test that. I would reboot my droplet. Let's give it a couple of seconds to start. Try to SSH in again. The droplet seems to be still rebooting. Let's give that another try. Okay, now I'm back on the server. So if I check the status of my containers with the docker ps command, I'll be able to see that one of the containers is up and running, but the second one is not. So this is due to the restart policy that we've set only for one of the containers. If you do a Docker inspect for your running container and scroll up, you'll be able to see that the restart policy is set to unless stopped. This basically means that if the Docker host crashes, this container should be rebooted. That way the Docker daemon knows which containers should start after a reboot or after a possible container crash. So what we would like to do now is to configure our second container to restart after a host reboot or any other issue. What you need to do is use the docker update command. So what you need to type is docker update followed by the restart flag and then unless stopped followed by your docker ID. Hit enter. We can see that one of the containers is up and running. The second one is down. So if we go ahead and restart our droplet one more time and let's give it a few seconds to boot. And let's try to SSH back into the droplet. Okay, we're in. Let's again test the status of our containers. Now we can see that the two containers are up and running. And this is pretty much it. This is how you can use the Docker restart policy and automatically start your containers in case your host crashes. Besides the unless stopped argument, there are a few other arguments that you could use. I'll put a link to the Docker documentation where you could find more information about the other arguments.